Hey, this is Tracy Lewis with Stuff and Things. I will call this Finish It Friday. I am finally getting a chance to work on all of the three quarter complete projects. Sometimes I will do cards. I tend to be a slow crafter and I will not finish the inside. I won't finish the envelope. Sometimes I'll even just have it on the base and I'll maybe be missing bling or trim. In this case, this is a wonderful tone-on-tone, -tone, like a monochromatic with a little splash of color that I feel it's from a card class that we did a while back. And it uses a now-retired product, Blossoms in Blooms, I believe is what it's called, and so it is not available, but it does use products and I've added some new products to finish it off. So I wanted to share with you what it looked like in the class. It may have had a sentiment, but I will often in a class not put a sentiment on because I won't know what I'm going to use it for. And I have a whole bunch of birthday cards to send out June and July. So I am trying to get them all done uh, using my stash that I have partially finished. So this is going to be a birthday card going to one of my card friends. And I chose, and I haven't quite finished all of the bits for it, but I finished it enough that I want to share it with you. I used my handy dandy tool, the Fiskars Fine 360 Rotating Blade Cutting Tool that I love and it really does work I in place of using the brother I do not like to regular fussy cut with snips I am left-handed and my hands aren't very good so this I have just found to be a wonderful tool I do have it on my Amazon shop and I chose to cut using lemon lolly so these are my cuts and I actually just used a pencil. I took this and carefully drew, here, I'll use, this is what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use Lemon Lime Twist. I chose two new colors. This will do this leaf and this leaf. Oh, and the third, oh, four leaves. So there will be Lemon Lime Twist to go with the Lemon Lolly. And I just drew with a number two pencil and made sure I chose to cut inside the lines, or no, outside the lines, because I could cut in for most cases. And then I did some checks as I was cutting and ended up cutting away here and there wherever I had some overlaps, but it's pretty darn close. Here is what it looks like now. It might be upside down. Let me flip it around. Oh yeah, that looks way better. It's funny how a flower looks upside down. Versus right side up. And then I picked two different sets, Charming Sentiments and Sending Smiles. So here's my Sending Smiles. Here, no, I'll start with the one that's um, sitting here. So this is Charming Sentiments and it can be moved around in various places. I haven't picked trim or bling, but my plan for bling is to put some sort of stones, very small, stones or pearls, probably not colored in on these two flowers. And then from sending smiles are these teeny tiny flowers. So I have a third one. These are very small. There it is. And here on these leaves, sorry, that was off to the side so much. Oh, and I can see that I will move this down here. And then there will be either linen thread fluffed up or I will do baker's twine 
with metallic and neutral. And I like this totally fine. But then I pulled out Sending Smiles. And I feel that Sending Birthday Wishes. I think this is going to be it. And I will pop up the sentiment. I was toying with popping up the whole flower arrangement, but I think popping up the sentiment will do it. I will take photography of what is the final version of this and hopefully get it loaded today because today is Friday. I am often not the best at, I think I still have three or four videos uh, that I owe you guys, but I'm always moving forward. Uh, that is uh, something I recommend, just not getting all tied up with having to post the old stuff. If something new comes along like this project, I feel is very interesting. I want to share it. I want to get it mailed out as well. So let me know your thoughts about the dressing up of this particular card of using the fine Fiskars cutter. If you have experience with it, what do you think of it? for bad hands if you have bad hands like me if you have another tool that you've found works really well uh, with bad hands uh, let me know um, i like the brother electronic cutter as the first resort and then if if it's just not something that's going to be easy easily done I would have had to be very specific with my pencil lines and I could have used the cutter, but I felt it would be faster in the long run to not have to fuss with those lines and make sure they were perfect all for, you know, a two minute cut when I used the Fiskars and I think it took maybe five to seven minutes. So it's kind of like weighing your odds. And also if I'm not having a bad hand day. Uh, which my hands have been pretty good, then I will opt to go ahead and do the kind of the more physical, immediate uh, project uh, choice or product choice. So I will be getting some green leaves, some popped up sentiment. This will be the sentiment. Let me know what you think of this card with the tone on tone. Uh, the bricks is retired. There is a new bricks. I do not have it yet. I, I sadly don't have a lot of new products because as I've already said, I had to get colors and the colors uh, were pretty much took up my budget for this quarter. So luckily I do have lots of these types of um, cards to finish from card classes as well as my retired products. So I can share with you some of some mixing a little bit of the old and the new as I transition to the new catalog do all the YouTube things. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.